Hey everyone, it's Martin here, one hour playthrough. Welcome back to Subnautica. It's been such a long time and things changed and I'm so, so excited to start all over again. Um, we're going to do a new game, of course. And of course, we're going to play survival. So we crash landed on a dangerous alien, pla alien planet and we have to scavenge for resources and manage our hunger and thirst to survive. Ouch. Alright, let's do this. Let's extinguish the fire first. This fire is bad. Cool. Ah, oh, this is new as well, the PDA. It's so good. Initializing PDA in emergency mode. This program will catalog your inventory, record essential information and issue survival advice as necessary. It has one directive, to keep you alive on a hostile world. Good luck. Thank you, computer. Alright, let's store this. Uh, actually, can I... I think you can... Can you dump it? Oh, you can't. I thought you could, but... That's fine. We just put it in here. I'm hungry. Do something about that first. Alright, so I'm in a damaged life pod and I need to fix this damaged life pod system. Use the repair tool. And the same goes for the communication relay. Now we have our fabricator that we can use to make all sorts of things. It's really cool. And the first thing we're going to make is this repair tool. I need salt, two salt cave sulfur and titanium so let's waste not any time and oh my goodness it's so beautiful this game <laughs> all right the aurora suffered catastrophic hull failure cause unknown zero human life signs detected in 100 meter range oh, that's not good all right this is really bad but oh, i'm actually pretty lucky um where did it came from? These exploding fish. <laughs> exploding fish? What? <laughs> yeah. Um, they should give me cave sulfur, but apparently Oxygen. this one is a little bit buggy. Let me go up before I'm drowning here. Ah, I should be make it. Should be able to make it. There we go. Alright, um, that's a little bit unfortunate what happened there. Uh, did not happen before. I did practice a little bit. Now I have to find another cave where one of these exploding fishes are. There will be some stuttering in this game. Um, it's completely, it's not normal, but it's early access and uh, yeah. I have to accept it. Um, everyone has it, so. Oxygen. All right. Yeah, this oxygen thing, uh, I really have to do something about it. So it's one of my priorities to make a air tank. We go over that in a second, but that repair tool we're going to do first. Let's take a little bit to the story as well. Um, this is a piece of the Aurora and we can turn this into titanium. Let me hop into this cave. Hopefully there's another exploding fish thingy. Hello. I could try to go a little bit deeper. There is one. Or was that was the one already? Uh oh, I have to get out. I have to get out fast. Yeah, it's a little bit... Uh, Oxygen. Yeah, 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 I'm going. Alright, um... Let's find another cave. Let's see, where's the aurora? There it is. I think... If 
if I remember right, there was towards this direction another cave relatively close by. I'll grab this guy. New creature discovered. Explain again uh, in a second what I can do they with have it. Unexpected characteristics and applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. Good. Copper. Environment. Uncharted. Ocean planet. Oxygen nitrogen atmosphere. Water contamination. High. Urgh. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased by 11%. <gasps> Uh-oh. Oxygen. Uh-oh. I was not paying attention there for a second. All right, I was just thinking I'm swinging in circles. I need to get away from my life pod and find another cave to find the silver. It's really crappy that it bugged out there. I'm going to hit this cave down there. Let me uh, get full air supply. Probably we're going to get blown up. Oh, two. Oh, great. Ow, 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 ow. Alright. <laughs> I'll be healing in a second. Uh, not to worry. Alright, let's go back. Now, nah, this should be sulfur for us here. So, they come out of these flowers. Yeah, I can already see it. This is what we need. Right? Only need one. Alright, let's go back. Oh, I need some salt as well, right? Salt we can get by these mushrooms, these purple mushrooms. And I can already see one. I need to find two. One of these and... Let's see... Of course, if you swim higher, it's easier to spot them. And while I'm at it, I'm going to grab a few chunks of the Aurora and turn them in titanium. Because you will be using a lot of titanium in this game. Alright, so come on, salt. It could be, it, it's not necessarily that it has to be by these purple plants, but um, this is where you most often find it. I can already see one. There we go. Great. Alright. Let's go back to our live raft. And we're going to heal up as well. We can only do that when we repair this. So, let's see, um... Titanium. Oh yeah, let me do this. These are the big chunks I picked up. That's all of them. And I should be able to make the repair tool now. And use that immediately. And Let's see, two. There we go. Like magic. Great, that's one. Alright, let's heal up. Boom. Nice. Cool. Now the fish I caught, I can make water out of that. Let's do that as well and consume it. Great stuff. Alright, so I have one copper and one lead. That's a good start. Dump everything in here. Don't need that. I can take more with me. Alright, for me, the next priority is I want to have this air tank. It's really easy to make. It just needs some glass and some titanium. So let's uh, make that happen. And it's getting almost dark as well. Um, we need these units. Quartz. Basically everywhere. I need four of them. So we're almost done already. 
And uh, yeah, get used to all of these strange sounds that you hear in the game. <laughs> there will be lots of strange sounds. Alright. There we go. Let's turn this into glass. Great stuff. And... Let's see, two titanium. I stored everything in here, so... There we go. And that should do... And actually... Um, I don't need a repair tool right now. Hopefully I don't need a repair it at all, ever. But that's unlikely. Alright, let's make this first tank. That already makes a difference, but I want to go straight... Well, straight as fast as I can to the next level. So, two glass, four titanium, and Detected silver. Increased local radiation levels. Trend yeah. is consistent with ongoing degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core due to damage sustained during collision. Continuing to monitor. Good stuff. All right. First, I want to make a survival knife. I need some silicon, rubber, and titanium. It's really easy to get. It is dark, I know, but I will just stick to the surface a little bit there. Well, it's, it's probably even darker. Uh, these yellow-green illuminating plants. This is what we need. Uh, let me just... I'm just going to grab four. That's more than enough. And uh, quickly go back. Just now and then check my vitals. It's uh, not something you really have to keep checking all the time but just now and then have a look at it all right we have to make some silicon rubber get two all right i have <laughs> more than enough but i will need the rubber later as well so this is fine but maybe it was a little bit too much I don't have mm, that much storage so all right let's see then um I like the PDA. This is really nice. So I just need one titanium. And I can make the knife. Nice. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. As an essential survival tool for 2.5 million years, the knife remains the only exception. Sorry about that. Yeah, don't be sorry. All right, more crystal I need, but I need silver as well. And silver, one of the places you can get silver is in the Creepvine Forest. Um, there you'll encounter the first real enemies that will chase you. Um, I'm not too scared. And you just see me make fins as well. Um, hang on, I just read the description. Translate vertical limb movement on the water into faster thrust of course and uh, yeah that makes a, a nice difference now the knife we can defend ourselves a little bit ah i got a peeper nice peepers are really good for dinner oh there's one of these enemies let's continue swimming uh, get some quartz have to go up but it can already the duration that I can stay on the water is much better all right I need four quartz there should be a fish around that um, this screws with your mind is really strange um, it just happened in one of uh, my it was not even really a practice run I just was testing the system a little bit and it happened, that was pretty amazing. Oh, shit. No. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Alright. Um, hopefully, it doesn't stay dark too long. Um, I do think I will continue. I won't go into the darkest of areas. Actually, I have to probably go into here. What I will do is, let me get... Two of these. No, I need four. You see in a second why. I'm just going to stay in here. There's a lot of light here. It's 
pretty good actually. See if we can um, spot some mineable little rocks on these cliffs. I probably have to go a little bit deeper. Oh, it's getting daylight. Nice. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going. <laughs> Take the salt. And this might actually have silver. Yeah, I'm lucky. Let's get back immediately. All right, so um, I have the silver. I need to double check if I have everything. Let me go to the surface first. All right, get the PDA out and check out where is the air tank. Where are you? There it is. High capacity. And make two glass. Yeah, yeah, we should be fine. I've got the quartz to make the glass, the two pieces of glass. I've got the titanium, that should be no problem. Oh, do you hear this beeping? No. It will be... If it starts beeping here, the lights are beeping, you can open it up and you can grab a mat kit. Alright, um... Let's see, one, two, three, four... I already had a piece of glass, but it doesn't really matter. I'll just make everything that I have. There we go. Uh, let's get out of here and put our air tank in our backpack. And now we can make the high capacity O2 tank. That makes a big difference. It's take quite a bit longer underwater, so that's pretty nice. Alright, so what else do I want to... Oh, I, of course, want to make a lot of stuff. But um, one of the things I really want to make is this battery. Uh, or this scanner, but I need a battery for that. So in order to make a battery, we need acid mushrooms and copper. I already have the copper. Ashes mushrooms, really easy to get. There are these purple ones. Let's grab these. Nice. Almost job done already. And I think I have some salt. I can yeah, cure this peeper. Eat it. And the bladder fish with me as well? No, I don't. But let's eat that. I have some spare water. Um, let me grab that, get that. Oh, right. I'm really thirsty. This water is not the best. We really need salt, but we get to that in a second. Um, also, I need to make fiber mesh too. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, the battery. The battery right over here. And with that, I should be able to make the scanner. Yeah, nice. The scanner is really important. The spectroscope scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvaged technology and to record alien biological data. All right, great stuff. I think I'll call this an episode. That was pretty productive, actually. Really nice. I've got the high capacity O2 tank. I got my fins. I got my scanner. I got my knife. Doing really good. And um, yeah, next time we're going to continue. And let's see what will be next time. Next time we will try to find the uh, fragments of the sea moth. That's a really small submersible, and we're really going to need that. And I'll get into that much later because. If you don't know this game, there's m many things to tell, many things to explain. And I want to make uh, quite a bit of bleach as well. We can make purified water, which is really handy. All right. If you want to win a copy of this game, all you need to do is like the videos and of the series that uh, I'm going to make. And um, I think once I make the big submersible, once that's done, I will do the giveaway. And um, if you're a subscriber and you like the videos, then uh, you're automatically participate. Um, but if you want to be sure you're in, just let a comment in one of the videos of uh, Subnautica and I will add you to the list. And then at random, I will pick one person and I will announce that in one of the future videos to come. Thank you very much for watching. Let's save the game. And uh, yeah, till next time. Bye.